Happy Christmas in July. Today we have a Christmas swap in the middle of July on July 15th. This swap was organized by none other than Susan at Twinkling Beauty and she invited me and several other channels which I will link down below to do a Christmas swap in July and I could use some Christmas right now. I am having a really rough time with my mental health. I'm gonna say it again, it is okay to not be okay. I have come to accept that and I am getting help. Some people have reached out to me because they are worried. I am not overtaxing myself, which is why I'm just using whatever background I have in my home and I am trying to make the swaps a little easier on myself and not put so much pressure on me. That being said, I am so excited that Danita from Absolutely Fabulous is the person who created my box for me. That really brightened up my day when I saw it and I couldn't wait to open it because she is one of the sweetest people I know. There are a few people in the community that have been really extra special for me recently with everything that I'm going through. And like I said, guys, don't worry about me. I have access to help and I am taking that help and I am taking medications. They're being regulated by a doctor and I'm also seeing a therapist and I am really working on being the best version of myself. And if you need help, I suggest that at any time of year that you reach out and get the help that you need because sometimes we just have to do what we have to do. We're in quarantine and I am filming at 4 p.m. and at 5 p.m. I will be meeting with my therapist on the phone because it is COVID season. So that being said, I am gonna get into this box and to see who I sent my box to, just check out all the channels that I've listed below. As you can see, she put some really cute stickers and I'm holding the box in an awkward way to cover addresses. Just can't wait to see what's in here. I need a little bit of sparkle in my day. And by the way, I am wearing my spirit jersey from Disney World and my ears. I bought them when I was on my trip and I had an amazing time on that trip. I'm really missing Disney. I'm just wondering like how Disney is going to be and if it's going to be as magical with all the COVID restrictions. Comment down below what you think. Oh my God, this card is so beautiful. Did you make this? I don't know if Danita made this or if she got it from a small shop, but look at this card. It is stunning. Like, to Melody, Merry Christmas in July. Love Danita, AKA, absolutely fabulous put this really amazing paper inside it's kind of nice to have that christmas feel at this time of year oh my god she sent me a marie backpack and it is so summer i think i'm gonna switch to this backpack now like well not right now because i'm filming my video but i i'm definitely going to be switching to this and of course it is packed with stuff god i absolutely love this this was actually on my list on elfster it is a disney cat bag disney tote it's absolutely adorable you have Berlioz and Toulouse and Oliver and Thomas O'Malley and Marie who reminds me of my cat Layla who passed away and the Cheshire cat. So it's like all the really awesome Disney cats and I am a cat fanatic. I think I'm sensing a theme here and I like it so far. The next item is this little one here and it's so fun to be unwrapping presents at this time of year. Oh my god, this is so cute. I'm not going to put this on because I have lipstick on. I don't want to ruin it. But it is a Marie 
t uh, Berlioz and Thomas O'Malley and Duchess and actually Duchess reminds me more of Layla than the other one I'm not going to put it on I'll just give you guys an idea actually I can put it on it is a very well-made mask and masks as of July 27th will be mandatory in all public spaces in Montreal so I will get a lot of use out of this so it's this little box like this this is so cute it is a Figaro it's a little Figaro Jim Shore and he's absolutely darling look how cute he is I actually got this for some people that I'm swapping with because I love it so much and now I have my own and I'm definitely going to put this right with my gym shorts that you guys can't see that are like right there I love this it is so cute and the next item is this one here <gasps> this is so cute it's a Marie pin look at how sparkly and pretty it is it is a Disney Parks Marie pin which I totally totally love I am so into Marie right now I'm actually doing a Marie diamond painting. I think I just, I, I think I showed it to Danita just the other night, if I'm not mistaken. And there is one final item here. Oh my God, this is so cool. Okay, like I'm having my next coffee in this. It is a Aristocats morphing mug. And I will try to insert a picture of it or a little video of it when it morphs because I will be having a coffee in it shortly. And the picture that is supposed to go on it is this. This is so cool. I am going to use this like in 10 minutes. And I'm going to film it and I'm going to insert into this video. But don't believe anything I say because I constantly <laughs> forget to do the things I say in my videos recently. My brain is not, my brain is just not what it used to be. Uh, the depression is really like affecting my memory and that's normal. It's like a normal part of depression. And, you know, I, I just want to say something about depression is sometimes you don't even know how depressed you really are or how bad things really are until you hit that rock bottom. And like my husband and I really didn't know that we were just so severely affected from everything that happened in the NICU with the twins and other pressures in life. And, you know, we really hit a rock bottom before we started working on ourselves and like COVID kind of like was a blessing for us and it's sad to say that it's morbid because so many people have suffered so much but it, it has allowed us to kind of collect ourselves and like rebuild things that we weren't working on in our lives and it's just like we were both just so depressed and like it was just a really really hard period we both have help and we have help for each other and it's okay to get help there's no shame in it because people go through rough periods and there's a lot of PTSD so if you've had a baby or you've had children that have had really great health issues you know check yourself are you having panic attacks or are you you know flustered by things you shouldn't be flustered by anything you know for me the breaking point was I could not park my car so I like had a total like I was already going to the doctor to say 
I can't take it anymore. I'm not doing well. Like, give me medication. I was always like, not against medication for others, but against medication for me. And when I got there and I couldn't even park my car without having a panic attack, I said, yo, like, girl, you got to do something. You really, really got to go through it this time. Because I brought myself to a doctor before and then I wigged out. And I think like I just got like a refill for vitamins or something, <laughs> vitamin D. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of a little bit of my story. But things are really like looking up and I'm, I'm not better, but I'm on a healing path and I'm taking care of myself. And I want everybody to know that you need to take care of yourself. I mean... You know, someone was telling me recently that the highest suicide rates are in the summer months. And, you know, if you are feeling blue or you are feeling like you can't go on, reach out to somebody because you mean the world to so many people. So don't let, uh, don't let yourself, you know, don't don't spiral into so much despair that you can't come back from it because there are people who can help you there are medications that can help you there are different techniques you can work on yourself with and you can rebuild you know like Rumi says the wound is the place where the light enters so you know take that to heart and yeah so <laughs> I kind of went off on a tangent. Danita, thank you so much for being such a wonderful friend. And thank you for all these beautiful items. I love them. They are so me. They are cats. They are Disney. And definitely it has brought some light into my life. This knapsack is going to get used right away. I am switching into this today. I absolutely love it and this mug is getting used within the next half an hour so know that I love that too it's just all beautiful I'm gonna stay safe with this and just you guys have seen everything that she gave me it is beautiful I feel spoiled I feel loved and whatever you're doing with your day take care of yourself bring in a little joy to your life and stay safe.